What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Sunday Leagues Investors Podcast. My name is Brian, and today we have a special guest, um, a man that actually put us on when we first started, and we are forever grateful for him. I know we keep saying it, man, but we are so happy that you're on our podcast. This has been a long time coming. And if you don't know, this guy, Daniel Keen, um, Sports Cards UK, you guys know him by Sports Cards UK. We know him as a first name basis. That's just how cool we are with them. <laughs> but uh, he breaks a lot of packs, a lot of great things. You literally break everything. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, I don't know how you break everything, but you, that's what you do. It's really entertaining. You have a lot of great... Um, um, knowledge on vintage things like Bobby Moore, um, Bob Charlton, like uh, George Bess. And yeah, man, we're just really excited. You want to just say hi to the peoples? Yeah. Well, firstly, thank you very much for having me on. I'm, I'm honestly honored. Um, you are one of my favorite uh, channels there are out there. You're one of the first channels that I subscribe to. Appreciate I mean, it. You, you said I, I put you on, but uh, I didn't really. No, we, you we did. Sort of came, <laughs> we came up at the same time. And yeah, I, I, I follow you guys. I love all of you, uh, Bob and Luigi as well. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to, I'm really excited to be on and yeah, perfect intro. Um, I, I do, I do open quite up. I, I do open up a lot of, a lot of boxes, a lot of packs. Um, my bank account doesn't like it too much, but <laughs> I suppose, but, I you suppose know, it's all fun, isn't it? It's funny that you said you didn't put us on, but I truly remember the time you did when we talked about the David Beckham sticker and then you literally just shouted us out. And I was just like, wow, that's insane. Like, whoa, he knows us. <laughs> and it was just like an amazing moment, even though like um, we were just all both starting. It was just such a big moment for us. And I, I still remember it, you know, to this day. Well, I mean, what a great segue into the subject that we were about <laughs> to talk about as well. And I suppose, well, on just on that point, so I, I did do it. I did a tiktok uh about the it was the sky sports sticker wasn't it, it was right the the sky 1996 sticker, yeah. sky sports sticker so being from the uk and being a big beckham fan um i thought i knew everything <laughs> <laughs> i didn't um i'd never seen this card so I, uh, prior to that i picked up a few of the 96 merlin premier league stickers right so um there's another UK YouTuber, LDN Cards, did a video on, I think he did a video specifically on David Beckham and he showed these stickers and said he thought that these were Yeah, the, we know him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we thought these were the rookie stickers. Yeah, he's a great guy, Mitch. He's, well, he's not I didn't not know his name, but me. yes, he was, he was a yeah, good fellow, guy. He's a good guy. Fellow Fulham fan. I think he's... Oh, England, that's well, what he would it be is. Okay, okay. As well, but yeah, yeah. So, yeah, really good guy. And um, I watched that video and then I ended up just jumping on eBay and just buying a few of these at sort of 10, 10 15 pounds whatever they were at the time and you came out with this video and I'd, I'd, I'd seen a couple of videos of yours prior but I hadn't actually I don't think I'd ever reached out to you guys um I'd just seen your TikToks and your, yeah, your the, YouTube the, videos yeah I didn't even know you knew we existed to be honest yeah well <laughs> and, and then you did this video on this uh, was it a PSA 9 it was a PSA 9 yeah it's a PSA 9, PSA 9. Rolling Sky Sports. I'll just show it real quick on the video yeah hopefully it and I remember uh, seeing that on your YouTube when I was like what is that? that? I was like, that is the shiniest looking thing I've ever seen. I want one of those. So I was like, a, what is it? A, uh, what do they call one of those? Uh, I was like a magpie attracted to this oh. shiny looking Beckham sticker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, got you. Right, yeah, yeah, I need like a, that in my collection. What is that? It's like a trap. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it was, the video was fantastic. I ended up seeing this card and I thought that's brilliant. And you, you showed off some really cool cards in that video as well. Not just the, the Beckham sticker. And um, I ended up buying one on eBay for thirty pounds. Wow! And since then, it's the only one I've seen on eBay that's priced around that. Um, there was one other guy that had that sticker on at the same time that I bought it on eBay from the UK. You had his at one hundred and fifty, and then as soon as I bought it, he was the only one that had it on eBay, and I think he doubled it up to three hundred. And I think it's still on eBay. He actually has now? multiple. He actually has multiple. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, so he's actually you've sold a few. seen the seller before. Yeah, because one of our followers messaged us saying, "Hey, what do you think about the sticker?" I said, "This is this is a this is an all time sticker in my opinion. I yeah. just think it's an all time sticker." And he said he paid I think three hundred or four hundred dollars for the sticker. You know, right. so so it's gone up in price, man. You made a great decision. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what the worst thing about it is at the time? I, I put it in the cart and I thought, oh, 30 pounds is quite a lot. Oh. And I now look back on it and think, 
thank God I bought that. Oh my God. I know exactly the feeling, It's just gone off to PSA for grading. Oh man. Well, good luck. I hope you get the first PSA 10. Two years time, I might get that back. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's another discussion. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think the Sky Sports, if you guys don't know the topic of the day, it's going to be David Beckham. And if you guys don't know David Beckham, he is an all-time player for England. England. Um, And he's Mm -hmm. an all-time icon in the world. He's been, you know, I don't think we needed to talk too much about what his impact is, but it's a, it's a real impact. He might not go down as like the most gifted footballer in the world, but he's mm-hmm. definitely one of the most iconic. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, absolutely. And you know, he's won 19 trophies, uh, first Englishman to win four titles in different countries, which is a fun fact. He also has a cool looking documentary that's coming out. It's a multi-million dollar deal with Netflix. So that's really exciting. It's like never before seen tapes and everything like that. So it's maybe we have some last dance vibes. And also yeah. he is the owner of Inter Miami for the MLS team. So that has some clout with it. We have Iguain, um, we have Iguain. <laughs> so that's all I can say. But hey, you know, it's it's really exciting. And he's kind of been not the community kind of talks about David Beckham, but he he's not as like sought out though. You know, when I ask the questions where like, hey, what what card do you want to listen talk about? Which players do you guys want to be investing in? One of our first names that we're gonna come up is David Beckham, but not mm. everybody talks about him, you know, Daniel. But you know, why do you feel like he's so important? Like, you know, you are in the UK. Right. So what are the vibes when someone says, hey, man, what do you think about David Beckham as a footballer? So I think for me, um, the thing with David Beckham is um, one, I think the obvious one is that I'm I'm an England fan is is the first thing. Um, I'm not the I'll be honest, I'm not I'm not in the era where I I was old enough to watch Beckham make his first start for Man United. Same here. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm young. If I don't look it, I am young. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my, my dad was a, a Man United fan. So sort of the, the whole sort of nineties era was something that, that my dad used to play videos of, he used to show me Beckham. Um, so obviously my second name's Keen. So when I was, um, when you used to go to the, <laughs> you used to go to the sports, um, the sports stores and you used to get your signed shirts. Yeah. And my dad used to get me a Man United shirt and he used to, he used to put Keen on the back. Cause if you put your, if you put a player's name on the back, as opposed to your, your own player, your, uh, sorry, if you put your, a player's name on the back, as opposed to your own name on the back, right. it was actually cheaper to have a player's name than to have your own. <laughs> right, so right. He made sure that he wouldn't tell them that my name was Keen, that he was like, Oh, I'd like Roy Keen on the back. There please. we go. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, I'd have Keen 16 and then, the first football team I played for, I had number 16 on the back. So yeah, oh, number okay. 16 is a bit of a lucky number of mine. I've gone off on a bit of a tangent. But I mean, I was going to say, are yeah. you crazy as Roy Keane? But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a real point. Well, that's a real question. But Yeah, but um, yeah, Beckham was someone that I obviously watched growing up. Yeah. He had quite a long career as well. So um, I got to see him at Man United and uh, Real Madrid and... Um, well, PSG towards the end and LA Galaxy. So there's a quite a lot of teams that I, he played for. And I think being from the UK, like, yeah, he was he was someone in the Euros and the World Cup that you looked to. And um, that, that, that was kind of a, yeah, as you said, you, you put it perfectly in that he was, he was an icon. Yeah. I think he was the one guy that, he was sort of a stylish guy that everyone in England wanted to be. They wanted to play like David. But everyone, I remember he used to wear Predator boots. And when everyone used to wear these Adidas Predators at school, and they only I remember, wore them because Beckham wore them. I remember, like, I, remember the re- I remember, the I remember had the red that, Predators. I think Gerard wore, <laughs> yeah. wore Predators as well, and then everyone was like, "Oh, I'm wearing Gerard's <laughs> boots." But yeah, I think I think as at school, everyone wanted to to be Beckham. Right. Even when we were playing like jumpers as goalposts. Interesting. At, at school, you used to used to be like, "I'm David Beckham. I'm David Beckham." <laughs> Well, that's that's to good say, to know. I used though. to say I was Paul Skulls because oh. no one else wanted Paul Skulls, so I was just like, "I'll be Paul Skulls." <laughs> hey, that's not a bad drop off either. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so yeah. so, but uh, but you know, I, I think it's really interesting to talk about because you know, Dave, Dave Beckham. There's nostalgia behind that, you know. Oh, that, yeah. That's the, I think that's what I'm trying to aim for. The nostalgia factor is such a big deal. So when people yeah. grow up, who we're going to talk about? Dave Beckham is one of the icons that we're going to be collecting, and. Mm. One thing I wanted to talk about was like, I don't know if you were, I actually forgot how old you are, Daniel, but I was going to say is like, you know, there was a time when he had that red card against Argentina. Yep. You know, that was probably the lowest of lows 
for uh, mm-hmm. any sort of footballer, but he came back and literally rose from the dead and had one of the most insane years as a footballer. Um, and I just think that's some, one of the most amazing stories to hear about David Beckham because I think we hear about his flashy sides and everything like that, but just as his, yeah. his, the things that he's, he's very good at blocking out like the noise and still perform at a high level. Um, and I think that's what mm-hmm. I got from when I was researching about him, just reading, obviously I watched him, you know, we all always want to talk, kick a ball like, uh, David Beckham, you know, but, um, yeah. but, but yeah. I don't do, were and you then, there? And that red card, the, the, the yeah. media went, the, they went on an absolute frenzy. I think it's like when your, when your talisman gets a red card in a game, the media just went crazy. And for him oh. to kind of, he must have heard or seen all of that, and then for him to come back from that and 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 perform the way he did was just yeah phenomenal. It just it was like a kind of a phoenix rising from the ashes kind of thing. Yeah. Every, everyone was just a, yeah. It just made you love him even more. And yeah, as you said, it's just like with the free kicks and some of the goals that he scored. You just the the pressure and the and that he that he was under when he used to when he used to play, and there was all the all the eyes were on him, and the fact that he still performed. To, to the best of his ability was yeah yeah iconic yeah i i completely agree man and and, and i could just keep going on about david beckham but you know then, then that's that's what the documentary is for <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but you know let's talk about some of his maybe cards. they could take a snippet out of this and <laughs> oh yeah that would be great that would be that would be amazing and then, Blow us both up, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean i just i just asked for a Two percent royalty. That's all I asked for. Um, not, not, not nothing big. But, um, but yeah, let's yeah. talk about some of the cards, though, right? Like, I know you collect mm. David Beckham a lot, and yep. I think one of his first cards, or one of his first few cards, is the 1995 LCD publishing. I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I don't know. What do you think about it, Daniel? Like the 1995 LCD. I don't. Do you know? I think at some point I would like to have it in my collection. Right. Right. I'm not the biggest fan of it i mean it's not my favorite card out of all of them yeah um but we can come on to that but i suppose it is 1995 so there's there is that but it's it's obviously very expensive in terms of the other cards so it's not something that i've I've sort of divulged into yet if i only invested in david beckham potentially i might have had it already by now um but i suppose i suppose i don't hate it but I don't love it. I think I would, I wouldn't buy it necessarily because I like the design or I like the card itself or I like, I don't like the fact it's LCD publishing as well. What, what is that a, though, if by it the was way? A, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll be honest. I've, <laughs> yeah. I've never, I've never looked into it too much, but if it was Merlin or if it was, if it was one of right. the other, uh, then yeah, I, 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 I'd be obsessed about it. But I think the reason that people like it so much is because it's 95 yep. and there's only a couple, a couple of cards. Yeah, the only a couple of cards that are technically that have 95, 95 on it, but it, that's probably the only one that should have 95 on it, I guess. Yeah. But gotcha. Yeah, I, mean, I, I guess I haven't really. It's one of the cards that I haven't really done too much research on. I think based just based off the price, because it ha, I haven't dropped five, seven, five to seven hundred pounds on a, a raw beckham card as yeah, of yeah and that's rough. I'm kind of skeptical of how old it is and yeah. the grading and stuff. So. It's it's a lot it's a lot for a raw card, but it's true. Yeah. It's true. It's actually a pop twenty two. There's no PSA tens, only one PSA nine. So it's not like you get like right. pop twenty three. Actually, I'm sorry, um, from the PSA yeah. website. And yeah, it's just something that we like. For me, I I like the look of it, and it's just kind of like it's just there and we know it's a true rookie (laughs) you know but it's just kind of like ah but there's also the match magazine as well the 1995 match magazine i've seen that circulate just i've seen pictures i haven't seen it circulated so that's something else um but also i think we you know i think we're hitting we're getting close to the most controversial card um and if you guys don't realize this is actually our second time this is our second round of talking about david beckham because your boy didn't record everything but it's all good but the the most controversial card right now is the PSA ten or the not the PSA ten but the nineteen ninety five Raven quote unquote card, you know yep. um, PSA. If you guys don't know about it, it's actually a card that most a lot of collectors love to hate. <laughs> okay, and yes, your boy has it. And let me explain before you give me a thumbs down or start leaving. Okay, when me and Bob started collecting, we actually were really into David Beckham. We had no research we knew nothing about soccer cards and we just saw 1995 on psa and we bought it for 400 dollars, and we ended up buying it and then the seller actually ended up throwing in this card as well which is kind of funny i'm sure real quick uh this card oh crap 
this Hasbro card, right? Um, which we actually ended up getting a really good deal. But it's so imperative to do research because if you, when you read the card, some things just don't line up. Um, and he didn't necessarily play in, 19, uh, he did play 1995, but the card itself is actually not 1995. I believe from what I was reading, it was printed in 2000s, right? <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, yeah, early 2000s, yeah. Yeah, and, and I was going to ask you, Dan, you know, like we, you know, for us, we're not going to keep this long term. We're probably going to just end up letting it go one day. In my opinion, because PSA is based on a business of trust, they're not going to go out and say, hey, this is the wrong card. <laughs> like, this is, not, this is the wrong year. So mm. I feel like if an investor buys it, it's not like they're losing too much. But keep in mind, if you're selling to a real collector, right, which is really where the real money is, we're talking just purely investment wise, then a collector is not going to drop huge money on this. But then again, there's some people that love the controversy of the card. They, they love that it pisses yep. people off. <laughs> yep. You know, like that's, that's one thing. But I want to know your opinion on it um daniel like what do you think about the card i know you we talk a little bit about on your video but i want to know give give our community what what do you think about it yeah so i've probably got a maybe similar opinion to some but then maybe maybe one that people wouldn't necessarily think that i do have um i like the card for the controversy as you said <laughs> um i like i like the fact that I actually quite like the look of the card for one. Yeah, it's a pretty sick card actually, yeah. Yeah, it looks it looks cool. Um however, the one thing I don't like about the fact is that I don't like the fact it was co it was called a rookie because it's not a rookie. Exactly, 100%. 100%. But then that, that's kind of like a I like the controversy, but then I don't like the fact it's called the rookie. So <laughs> I'm I'm kind of in two minds about it, but having said that, one day I may pick one up even having said that, because I do quite like the controversy around around the card. Um, I like the story behind it. Um, it may go up in, in, in value in future. It, it may not. And it still holds some value, which is, which yeah. is, which is, uh, I like the fact that that's, it's, it has still held, held its value. And I think that if you sent that card into PSA now, raw, as you rightly said, I still think they would put 1995 on the logo just for the symmetry. I don't think they would go back on that. No way. I think if they went back on that, the the cards would. It, Having said that, I think if the cards, if you if you sent that in and they decided to put 2000 on it, bro, I wonder what that would do for the 1995 cards. I wonder if that would make them go up in price or go down in price. That'd be interesting to see. It would kill their whole entire business plan. I'll be honest with you, because you're, yeah. you're basically saying, I don't hey, think they'll I, do it. But yeah, because you you, to, you send it. Yeah, I would say I would think. For me, I think the 1995s, it would, would it plummet? I think it would plummet. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would. Wow. I don't know. Yes. I've never, it's, good, you know, it's, like, it's the first time I've, I've, I've even, I'm just sort of thinking aloud. I, I've never thought about it that way before, but it, yeah, I, it's, it's a card that comes with a lot of controversy. I don't believe that that card's the rookie. However, I don't, I don't necessarily think it's a bad investment. I think there's better investments. Absolutely. But Having said that, if you invested in that card, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to hate on you for it. I'd, uh, thank you, thank you. I'd, I'd, I'd like, I'd like <laughs> if you invested that in that. If, if someone invested that in that card, I'd like to know why you invested that. Yeah, that's that the, that's the main thing. As long as they don't That'd know, be interesting it's a, to to know. Yeah, as long as they don't, they realize it's not a rookie, then they're okay. You know, if they like yeah. the controversy behind it, then yeah. you know, go go all in. You know, go all yeah. in. But but if you think it's a rookie, I would say definitely sway stray away. You know, but there's other yeah. good cards, right, Daniel? Like, you know, what other rookie cards would you say? Or rookie stickers? Because um, I know you're really into that. Um, what would you say to our community? What would you look into for David Beckham? Okay, so if you're into David Beckham, um, the rookie sticker I would recommend. You mentioned the Match Mag magazine. I've never seen one of those come up on eBay. I've seen it on Google. Um, I've seen it. I've seen, yeah, I've seen, I've seen pictures of it. And I used to actually read the Match Magazine as well. Okay, the breakfast okay. table with a bowl of Weetabix. But I've never actually seen one um, on eBay or on uh, an auction website or anything. But yeah, so that's probably out of the question. Um, there is a Merlin 1996 sticker. Yeah. So I've sent about seven of those off for grading a couple of them are pretty battered but one of them i'm hoping gets a decent grade um one thing that i haven't mentioned before i don't think i've mentioned before in any of my videos either 
there's a Shreddies uh, version of the Merlin 1996 sticker. Interesting. So Shred Shreddies is a um, it's a cereal brand in the UK. Okay. I, I suppose it would be. I don't know if it's like Wheaties, but you saw sort of Wheaties sometimes have sports like a, yeah, guys yeah. on there. Yeah, they have kind of sports guys yeah. and stuff that you can collect in the, their boxes. Um, Shreddies is a very sort of similar thing. It's a cereal and they had the exact same sticker. So it would be the David Beckham sticker and they did it for all of, uh, well, I don't, I think, don't think it was just Man United, but they did it for other the whole set basically. And the front of the sticker would look exactly the same. But on the back of the sticker, where it says Merlin, it would say that it would have the Shreddies logo. Oh, but wow. the number would be exactly the same. The description underneath would be exactly the same. So the Shreddies actually, I believe, someone's, and I'm not, I'm not sure the truth behind this, someone said they were printed earlier than the actual Merlin set. Okay. And they are a lot rarer. So if you do have a Beckham Shreddies card, super rare. I'm jealous of you. Yeah, just check. Let me, just let, check. Let me buy that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's one thing. And then the Merlin 1996 Premier League sticker um, is a really, really good one to go for. If you ask me, um, it's difficult to say if I would recommend it now because of the prices that I was paying in. Yeah, I see what you're trying July. to say. Yeah, yeah. And and now I'm just thinking, is that unaffordable? But having thought about it in in years to come, it's thirty pounds for a sticker. It's for a David Beckham rookie actually probably isn't that bad um, so that's one that I would recommend card wise I would go with the um, which we haven't spoke about before, um, or yeah, on yeah. this as of yet is the um, Merlin Premier Gold 1997 card yeah I think I have it right here yeah so the 1996 this is what you were talking about right here that's the one yeah, yeah. so I've sent one of those off for grading Ooh, um, I can't wait for it this. looks absolutely phenomenal in a PSA yes. case that card is beautiful it's a fantastic card now for me I class that card as the rookie card there is one uh, there's a couple of cards that are earlier than that there is the caricature card I don't have one to show you because it's don't ugly you don't need to because it's ugly as hell <laughs> yeah um, yo that is but, ugly man <laughs> yeah it's awful it's, it's genuinely awful and that that was released in 96 so that is earlier than this card but a lot of people won't like it and I think you have to think if you're going to invest in a card and if it's going to increase in value, it has to be a card that people are going to want. And yeah. this card is so ugly that I, I just don't think it's worth investing in, even though it is <laughs> a technical rookie card. I think it's just one, it's one of those situations where the card is so ugly, people just don't call it the rookie. They're just quite happy to call the Premier League, Premier Gold the rookie. So yeah, the card you just showed um, there, Brian, is, is, is brilliant. It's one that I would recommend. They don't come up too often, especially as of recent. Um, I did rip one in one of my videos. <laughs> Cry. There was a bit of seller tape on it, and I ended up ripping the top of it. So that oh, was a bit of, shoot. Yeah, oh it was a bit God. of a shame. I ended up getting a refund for it, but I paid twenty pounds for it. Yeah, I was gonna so say I'm, I don't think a refund I'm really. So annoyed it, it ripped. <laughs> makes up makes up for like, the difference of oh, everything. Oh yeah, it was just the worst moment ever, and it was all caught on camera. So. That's um, great. That great was content. horrible, but <laughs> great content. <laughs> I'll take that. Card to, yeah, any card to be ripped, and it had to be that one. It was just so bad. So that they're they're the two. It's the 1996 Merlin sticker, and then the 1997 Premier Gold. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I I think it's what's so really interesting is about the pop count of all these cards. You know, like if you look at the sticker that you're talking about, the 1996 Merlin sticker, it's only a pop 32 and the shreddies is yep. a pop two, which is yeah, really, I just think that's just super insane. And then you look at the Merlin premier gold, right? I think it actually has like, it's listed on 96 and 97. I don't know why it mm -hmm. does that. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it definitely looks like it's a 97. Um, I think card. it's 97, 98. Yeah, yeah. I, and I if believe, it's 96, 97, then yeah, fair enough. No, I think it's 97 for sure. Um, because I, you, yeah. And the cool thing about the stick, this card is when he scored a goal, right? I think you said it, right? Yep. The halftime. Yeah. Goal. So he scored a, a halfway line goal against Wimbledon. Yes. And that that's that picture there is a picture of the celebration he he sort of did this hands up in the air celebration just after he scored the the halfway line goal. So. If you yeah, drop Google that or stick it in YouTube. It's a 
uh, for him to be so young to playing for Man United and to have Alex Ferguson as a manager and to even attempt that with imagine I'm I'm just thinking imagine missing that and then going into the dressing room I mean Alex (laughs) Ferguson was famous for throwing a boot at him but could you imagine (laughs) that could you I'd love to be a fly in the room if if we would (laughs) miss that and Alex Ferguson would have a serious go at him but yeah it was a fantastic goal so it's an iconic card in in that sense. Like to have a card that's so ugly from 96 and then to have that card that's so iconic in 97, it's obvious why people people will gravitate towards that one. Right, right. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good one. It's a number 92. If you guys are looking at that one, that's the card number. Um, but yeah. but yeah, I, th- I think they look good. And I think I want to talk about there's other things too. Like there's uh, like... David Beckham, what I've noticed that he has a lot of different variety of cards and they're really yeah. cool, like super cool variety, right? So I, I wanted you to kind of just talk about, you know, what do you think is what the cooler cards that, you know, that you like in your collection just for collecting wise, right? It might, it's not a true rookie because after his 96 or from 96 onwards, he has some really crazy looking stuff. So yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Daniel? What, what, what is this like? Hey, um, this is something I, I love. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly... Bring a couple things. Okay, I want to. I'll, I'll keep talking. Don't worry. <laughs> so I, I'll, I'll talk about mines. I think we already talked about this. The 1996 Merlin Sky Sports David Beckham foil. It's a pop four and PSA nine. Actually, all of them got a PSA nine, which is kind of weird. So we got this card right here. This sticker right here. I'll try to show it. Yeah. So it's super sparkly. I love the foil. Um, it's really funny. We when me and Bob were buying this sticker, we were just like. We love the sticker. It's only four hundred dollars. Why not? And man, I mean, it's, it's just just a beautiful sticker. Like, I mean, if you just look at it, hopefully, it, it, there we go. Well, there we go. Yeah, it's a really cool sticker. And what I, I wanted to talk about was that because it's a pop four, and because it's one of these shiny stickers, it's super hard to get a really high grade. Um, and when you start investing, one of the biggest things you could start doing is you could start thinking about, hey, you know what? Instead of investing in what you need to invest in, invest in things that you like. Because, you know, seriously, I had no idea what's the the history of Sky Sports. I know about Sky Sports, but, like, I didn't know anything about it. So we just bought it because we like it, and it ended up becoming a good decision, you know? So that's just one quick little tidbit when you're collecting sports cards and stickers. I wonder if that sticker is, like, one of the most, I think, in time to come, I think that sticker will be one of the most sought out. I hope so. Beck, Beckham <laughs> card stickers there are. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just think it's so so cool looking. And you're back. Um, yeah. So sorry about that. I was slightly underprepared in terms I got, of. I got it. I've I, sent I, a load of cards off for grading, and loads of them included. There was oh, a lot, I can't wait pretty to much ninety percent of my David Beckham collection went off to a graded gem, which is a company based in the UK. That. Um, for subs, right? Send yeah, they send cards off to PSA yeah, for you yeah. because there's no uh, office for PSA, SGC, or BGS. Unfortunate. In the, well, in, in Europe, even so. So a couple of cards. So I mentioned a couple of cards that I like in terms of the rookie. Um, one thing, one card that I would recommend for um, people getting into the hobby. It's not his rookie. It will be his um, second year card. And we've seen with um, all different types of sports that second year cards do have value. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people collect, like, um, I think the obvious one that I can think of, although it's away from sports, is LeBron. Yeah. Because his rookie cards were so high, a lot of people collect collected LeBron second year cards. I think people are doing that now with Giannis, Giannis sorry, and Luca and other guys. And I think I think Beckham cards will eventually become scarce and unaffordable that people will look to the second year cards and the second year cards will probably likely be the only thing that's available on ebay and on auction sites yeah that people will tend to look at those and right now if you're investing in david beckham second year cards are really cheap and really affordable the one that i would gravitate towards is the upper deck card so this is um the England Upper Deck 1998 card. There is a version of this, which I don't have to hand, uh, which is the Three Lions version. Right, yeah. And it says in gold over the front of here, it will say Three Lions on it. That's number to 5,000. So if you can get one of those, that's the better card to have. Very difficult to grade 
as I've pulled them pack fresh before and the top here has been all has had loads of whitening on it so I've pulled cards and this one's pack fresh and it's still got whitening on it so they are diff very difficult to grade um, but this is a really really good card to collect so this is um, in his international jersey so we know from sports cards soccer cards people t do tend to gravitate towards the international jersey as opposed to the club jersey not quite sure why that's a thing, but it does seem to be a thing. Yeah, um, yeah. I've never really understood that. But me, me either. But maybe I think it'll maybe change. Explain it to me. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, it might change later. I, I would say. Yeah. But so this is a really good one. This is one that I would recommend. And I've got a kind of an unopened box here. Um, so this is what the box whoa, looks like. Whoa. Yeah, I, I open. I've opened up about. Um, I've opened up six of these boxes. Um. Yeah, and how many? I got did a bit you, addicted. How many? How many did I, you get? Open up six of these boxes, and I only got one three lions David Beckham card. Wow! So you only you only get two you per box. You seem to get two three lions variants. Okay. So I've got um, there's a Gary Lineker one. There's a okay. I've got two of the um, uh, David Seaman ones, and then there's a couple of. Uh, I think I've got one Emil Heskey, I think is in there, maybe. And the other one was um, Paul Gascoigne. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So I just found the card. So this is what the this is what the three lions insert looks like. Yeah. You can see there's a big kind of gold three lions over the front. So this is a three lions insert. And, no and then this lines, is the standard yeah. card. Gotcha. And then on the back here, it will say it's numbered to 5,000. So I've got a couple of these Gascoigne ones, which I think are really cool. Right. Um, so that would be the that would be the affordable David Beckham card that if you if you're kind of on a tighter budget. One that's slightly obscure would be uh, the England Futera set. Right. Yeah. It's now Futera is doesn't have a lot of value. There's a lot of these. They're quite um, quite a lot of them were printed. Even this box didn't cost me a lot. I think it, this box, the whole box was maybe under a tenner, ten dollars. Um, so they're 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 very cheap. But again, it kind of goes with this the thing of if the ninety sevens are scarce and if the ninety six stickers are all exploded and are really really expensive, then these might be the the next best thing. So they are second year cards. So this is a couple of them. This is a, a dream team. Okay, gotcha. Um, which might even be, I think might even, it's probably the same pose. Yeah, it kind of looks like it, it's just a different angle. So yeah. these are 97 to 98, so it probably is the same, it's, a, it's probably the same picture from a different angle. And then this is another one of him taking a free kick. And there were several different inserts from this set. Um, a couple of them I did send off for grading because there's one that's like an embossed card, which was... Uh, part of the collection, but it was one of the harder ones to pull. Yeah. So I've got a couple. I've got a couple of those. I think out for grading. So. Okay. Yeah, the Futera ones would normally for any other player say avoid. For David Beckham, specifically the ninety-seven, ninety-eight, I would go for. Um, but this would be the go-to, in my opinion. Would be if you can and you're on a budget, buy one of these while they're cheap, and I think I think these will definitely go up. And we have spoken about just lastly, I feel like I'm speaking too much, but no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> just lastly, we have spoken about the um, Merlin Premier Gold 97. Yeah. There was also a 98 and a 99. Um, the 98 is obviously going to be a second year card. So I'd recommend that. It's a good looking card and it's cheaper. And then the 99 is actually just a really cool looking card. It's kind of like, belt upwards of just David Beckham in this kind of long sleeved um, Man United jersey I, I, I sent one off for grading and it's not I don't think it's worth that much but I haven't seen that many on eBay and I just think it's a really good shot of David Beckham so I think that will have some value oh I see what it. you're saying I see it now okay yeah so I think the Merlin Premier Gold is a really good set there's a few like the Frank Lampard rookie is from 98 as well so yeah and then that, the... that 98 has got quite a, a few good players in there that you can you can look at so yeah yeah I, I, for sure yeah it's very mm -hmm. interesting about you talk about for because um for also 
Steven Gerrard's Liverpool's card, I think his first mm. card comes from there too. So I think that's so that that's something really interesting. Um, quick background: if you guys don't know what Merlin is, I know I know there's a lot of people in the state that that listen. From if I'm not mistaken, uh, Tops actually bought them out, basically, yeah. right? So they're basically licensed for a lot of Premier League teams or the whole entire league, and then Tops was just like, "I'll buy y'all out." <laughs> yeah, they were, the, they were the go-to guys for stickers and cards. They were. Yeah, they were basically the, uh, I suppose, like tops are now for the living set and the tops now like huge. Merlin, Merlin were that, but then Merlin had all the rights to the, the Premier League. So I suppose it, it was kind of different in that the same way now tops have rights to the yep. Europa League, Champions League, and then Panini have rights to the Premier League. Yeah. It was a similar thing. Merlin had, Merlin had all the rights to the Premier League. And then sometimes if you, if you go back, some of the earlier cards have got both logos. So they have tops Merlin on. Yeah, I've seen that. That's why it made me was like, I need to look more into this. <laughs> yeah, I think I've recently bought a. Um, it was a Jack Grealish rookie card. Okay, gotcha. Oh, it was a Jack about. Grealish rookie sticker. Yeah, the sticker it, that that had the tops and the Merlin logos on it from, and that was only from 2016. So yeah, yeah, yeah I think it was pretty pretty recent. So, but mm. it's it was really interesting. Yeah, I, I just think Dave Beckham, general man, the pop count. Just the scarcity wise for what who he is, the popularity wise, I think it's just such a great person to look into when looking into invest or just collect in general. Like you said, you yeah. there's a lot of cool second year cards that you look into. And with just the pop count, I mean, I don't think the pop count is even close to even like two thousand, right? Yeah. And that's insane. Yeah. Just to give you perspective, I think there's a thousand PSA ten Mbappes, right? Like P- prisms, you know. I, I don't know. I just literally just said that, but <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, yeah, but, I can't I can't imagine there'll be millions, but yeah, no way. Yeah, but but l- listen, Daniel, thank you so much for coming on our podcast, man. You know, you're if you guys don't watch his YouTube, he literally breaks everything. He he gives a lot of knowledge, <laughs> and I love watching it, um, especially when you talk about the vintage stuff. It gets really. I get to learn a lot. Uh, but oh, you want to you, you want to just give a quick um you know uh, last word and where do you find you yeah firstly yeah once again thank you for having me on uh, i'm honestly honored um yeah i followed you guys for a long time so yeah i, I really appreciate you having me on this is very kind of you um where you can find me on youtube you can find me oh wow on youtube tiktok and instagram you can find me at sports cards uk which is just sports cards and then uk all one word and then on twitter it's sports cards uk yt uh, oh YouTube. i just we just started a twitter by the way guys so oh, okay yeah yeah, for, yeah I'll, was, to, I'll drop you a follow yes I yes, yes, yes. You yet, so we, yeah there, there no, we no, go. no we just literally just started we have like two followers and i think it's just like oh, spam it's I'll like spam accounts <laughs> 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 but but yeah we just I, i'm plugging myself too um yeah check us out on twitter right uh s at sli cards and you know we have hot takes as well <laughs> like that, that's basically what what twitter is going to be and yeah man listen you we got to get daniel to um a thousand subscribers that's that's our goal man because like you you you. deserve way more than what you got now man so um with that being said guys make sure to rate and subscribe that would mean the world to us if you're listening to this on podcast make sure to rate it subscribe it that 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 get keeps us going okay and if it's on youtube make sure to like and drop a comment which which david beckham card would you like to collect and how do you feel about maybe the raven card so with that being said guys i'll talk to you guys soon